Hello guys, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be introducing a new sensor that is ADC081C. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search on for this sensor as you can see on my screen and here we go as you can see it's a 8-bit one channel high speed ADC analog to digital converter and as you can see these are some of its more prominent features as also you can purchase this sensor from this website from here later in this video I will be interfacing the sensor ADC 081C with an Arduino Nano and for that I require the code so go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample now you can download the code sample as a zip file from here just write that and after that you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community you can download it from there now make some hardware connections and let's see what we got there now in the hardware connection setup part or the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen next we require an I2C shield just like this now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier so for that gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection like that for the power up function what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here the power jack now next we require our sensor that is ADC081C and this here is our connecting cable now to make a connection among the sensor and the cable we make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the ground wire of the cable and similarly this rule has to be applied to the I2C sheet so as we are done with the connections part now our requirement is of the explanation of the code so let's have it now for the interfacing part uh, the first thing we require is to log into github.com and after that we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and here we have to search for this sensor as you can see on my screen it's ADC081C and here comes the Arduino code but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow up and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this link will help us to install this uh, this software so let's open up this link as you can see we have to download the Arduino software from here and it can run on Windows, Mac and Linux so we have a lot of options to make this software run on different platforms so it's your choice now after that uh, as you can see we have to download or git pull the code and we have to double click the file to run the program and compile it and upload the code on the Arduino ID and then we have the output on the serial monitor so this is how the code works now let's have a look over the code so that I can explain it in a better way as you can see it's a dot .in extension file now in the code as you can notice we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x50 now in the void setter function we have seen that uh, we have to initialize i2c communication as master along with serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600 then in the second part as you can see the writing section part we have to select configuration register having address 0x02 and we are going to send the command for automatic conversion mode enabled that is 0x20 then in the void loop function as you can see we have to read some data back from the sensor and we are going to read it from the data register that is 0x00 we are requesting and reading two bytes of data which you can see as the raw ADC MSB along with LSB and after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines and the information provided for this sheet, data sheet of the sensor that is ADC 081C at the very end of our code we have the output data to be printed or to be described onto the serial monitor which is the raw value of the source and this is how the code looks like now what do we require next is to have a look over the working of this sensor now coming to the practicality of this code that's the working part first of all we have to copy this entire code of the Arduino and we have to open up the Arduino terminal here that's the Arduino IDE and here we have 
to create a new file we have to paste the entire code then save it by the name adc081 capital C and then it's a reference and after that we have to verify and compile the code it's done successful and we had to upload the code the code is being uploaded the code has been uploaded successfully now we have to check for the output and for that we have to open up the serial monitor so let's open up and as you can see we have the raw value of the source it's exactly zero which means there is nothing connected among the terminals for the sensor but instead when I provide a battery of 1.5 volt double A battery uh, as you can see we have a constant value of uh, 48 it's the raw value it's coming up uh, of the source the battery this means the sensor is responding to the voltage that is presently off to the battery now this is how the sensor works now the next step is to have a look over the benefits features and the applications of this sensor The ADC081C is a low power monolithic 8 bit analog to digital converter that operates from a plus 2.7 to 5.5 volt supply. The converter is based on a successive approximation register architecture with an internal track and hold circuit that can handle input frequencies up to 11 MHz. Due to these variables and a lot of features, a lot of applications are dependent on this sensor, which includes system monitoring, peak detection, portable instruments, medical instruments and test equipment. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.